Tyler Sash's abilities are well documented here at Oskaloosa High School where he dominated the record books. He made a big name for himself out on the football field, but people here tell me it was his big heart for his hometown that is what made him a standout. A community in mourning. I almost got a, a sick feeling to my stomach. But the game plays on. Short by yards. Roaming the Oski sideline, Doug DeCock remembers when Tyler Sash donned an Indian jersey. He had the speed, the power. Um, he, he just had a knack for making plays in big situations. DeCock organized two of Tyler Sash's celebrity golf tournaments, fielding three dozen teams, raising thousands of dollars. He was wonderful about uh, donating whatever he could to help raise money for uh, the kids in the community and, and people that might have been down on their luck. Sure, Sash made a name for himself in those prime time moments, like that triple interception versus in-state rival ISU, but it was his commitment to the Oskaloosa community that outshined any athletic achievement. The way that he treated people. Just ask Tyler Zikafus. Small town Iowa and he was in New York and he was still having ties back here and he never forgot about the community and I mean it just he knows that he inspired the kids. After suffering a severe spinal cord injury back in 2014, Sash reached out to lift his spirits. When you no longer have feeling below your waist, attitude is everything. I mean, he had a good outlook on what he wanted to do and what he wanted to be, so it just always helped keep me in a good, positive mood. And tonight we did attend the Oskaloosa High School Junior Varsity football game where the crowd honored Sash just before kickoff with a moment of silence. Andy?